with our cost because we are still it's still under design it's just a prototype because eh? we have to modify more and make the system more robust uh, design more and more so meaning we are still evaluating the cost because as we're designing as a designer you have to be evaluating what you buy is what you write down you get so at the end you have to put everything together then tell the farmer because the farmer won't be like I, I need a weight sense i need this i need this what the farmer needs is a well done thing and a well stabilized thing ready to do uh, to be assembled you get I'm Magambo Morris um, from IOTRA Lab um, at COSIS, at College of Computing. Uh, this is a, a smart beehive that uses uh, different sensors to assess farmers and send parameters to the farmers, um, whereby it has, uh, it's different from a traditional beehive. Uh, it has, in such a way that it has uh, weight sensors, it has um, weight sensors down here, here down. This one, this weight sensor takes the value of the level of the honey and sends it to our, our website. Then also, it has a different sensor. This is the this is the humidity. This is the carbon dioxide sensor. This one here, carbon dioxide. You know, bees are affected by carbon dioxide. Uh, whereby, if it is too much in the hive, they just run out from the hive and go. So we try to 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 measure the level of the carbon dioxide in the hive, so that if it's too much, then we create a mechanism of reducing it in the hive. And um, then also we have uh, an, uh, a camera here, so that uh, if we see that more of the bees are coming out from the hive, meaning there is something, there is a pest inside the hive that is affecting them. So we try our level best to see, uh, to, to take the videos of the entrance of the hive, so that if there are too many, uh, too many bees coming out, meaning there is a problem inside. Uh, also, we have a microphone here. This microphone, uh, this microphone does it, um, it records the, the audio sound of the bees. You know, bees, if they want to swarm, they make a specific sound. So if they want to swarm and make a specific sound, meaning we, we arrange a given hive somewhere so that we can bring them in, you get, than them moving away, you get. So, and also, um, if they are attacked by a pest, they, give, they make a given sound to alert, you get, their fellow bees. So, you, so, that, so we make, we take that audio, send it to the website, we have a website there. Um, which, will be, which is given to the farmers, this website here. So this website has a different, we have um, different, we have uh, temperature, we have the humidity, we have the carbon, we have the weight. So everything is recorded, meaning a farmer, what, what, he, does, what he needs is uh, just a website whereby we'll be reading the level of carbon dioxide, the weight, meaning weight, if the honey is enough, the weight will be high. So we we'll just come and, and harvest the honey, that's all. Then just predicting that by this time, that the honey is enough. You know now temperature that like the weather is changing these days. Where you find now that in maybe in June honey is, en is not enough. But remember in the traditional way we have to find that maybe in June honey is enough, go and harvest. But now these days because of the weather, you find that by June honey is already eaten by pests you get. So you need to take these into consideration, the level of the honey. But for a remote farmer, you find we have now a solar panel for the remote farm, maybe in a village whereby it doesn't have power. So we have a solar panel. Uh, we have um, a battery down here and a microcontroller that for sending these things to the communicating with the website, eh? this one here. So meaning if it's a, maybe a farmer in the village, we just give him a solar panel and a battery so everything will be working here as it is here. Starting from here, sending power down, then receiving power to the sensors and everything. So we'll be recording and everything will be sent to the farmer. Yeah. Yeah, if a farmer has no laptop, we have um, uh, this app can be also on the phone. It can be also on the phone, so you can, it's just a site, it's a website. So just, you can even be on your phone, any phone, as long as it's smart. So you can see everything, every parameter on your phone. Whether the video, whether everything can be seen on your phone, as long as you can access your phone. Yeah. So you coming up with that technology, what did you what are you trying to solve your farmers? Yeah, okay, what we are solving these days is the change in weather. These days there is that dynamic change in weather whereby a farmer can't exactly predict that by this month the level of honey is enough in the hive. You find that because of that change in, in, the, in the weather, by the time it clocks maybe December, honey has been eaten. It was enough maybe in November, now it's already eaten by the pests you get. So now we try to put in these different sensors whereby if the honey is enough in the hive, then the farmer will 
see from the up, then go and harvest it when it's just ready for harvesting than being eaten by the pests. Yeah. Because it's representative. Yeah. So meaning we are still under that thing of uh, we are writing, every cost we are buying, we are writing them down so that we can come up with our whole cost of the system. Uh, I've not, I've not, I've not heard you talk about uh, insulating or anything. Uh, uh, it, yeah. This thing affected by weather, like rain, in case we stole it somewhere. Yeah, we have um, this. Uh, this one here is covered on top here like this. It will cover the top because you know you don't rain to fall inside. Even the traditional beehives, they, are, they have such a thing on top to protect the rain from going into the honey. Then um, this one here, just for now, we have, uh, of course, we have a battery down there and we have a charge controller down inside there. So we don't want rain to affect it. Even these ones here, the final product, uh, first we move it, the final product. We'll be at these wires are just because we're supposed to design a system whereby because the farmer must not interact with these wires because eh? they will be maybe with power some of them. So I want to design a final product will be at these wires that are just inside. We want to create a two two membrane thing like two like two layers of a system here whereby there will be the inside layer, but not out not the interior side or the exterior side, but it will be in the middle. It will be a two layer hive. Eh? Uh, I understand uh, bees are affected by the predators. Yeah. And you, uh, the way I'm seeing, uh, you are covering the camera. The camera is put where? The camera is put at the entrance. And the predators usually come on the top of uh, mm. the Where you cover the what? Yeah. With the hand. Yeah. How is the camera going to tell the farmer that the predator is in the water? Uh, the camera is not supposed to tell the predator that Unless if the predator is entering inside here from here, from the entrance here. But if it's entering from any other place, then what, al what alerts us is the, the sound of the bees, you get what they make. Because sound will make a difference, they will give us a different sound, a different, a different audio from the one that they were making before. Meaning there is something dangerous that's taking place at the, at the hive. You get. So they will just make a different sound from the previous sound they were making. We just know there is a, a predator that is affecting them. Okay, we are in the final phases of the design. So any time from now, I can't tell you the, the exact date and the time, but any time from now we are going to assemble the thing. And because we still have, we, are, we have sent out, because you have first scout analysis and study. We have different components. One is at the forum, one is at Cabano. So we are still putting them to the field on, on test to see if they will uh, bring out what you wanted. Because we have to first scout and uh, study and see if they will carry what you wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. Your name once again? Uh, I'm Maurice Magambo, uh, doing electrical engineering. And your name? Uh, this, this is um, um, a, student. a student at also at Cosis, doing uh, software engineering. And it's called um, um, Navukenya 